Man, some good stuff around the league tonight. Seven games as we head down the stretch, about 20 games to go in the NBA season. And you saw the uh, reigning champions, the Denver Nuggets, knock off the Boston Celtics 115 109. Welcome to Inside the NBA. It's presented by Kia, Ernie Johnson with Shaq. With Kenny, with Cletus, and let's jump right to the highlights of this one. It's gonna stick from Denver. It's gonna it stick. has a good ring to it. Still got the CB. Yeah, Come on. Cletus. Yeah. Oh, there's the brothers. What a game, y'all. This, was, this a was this was good, Chuckster. This was a playoff game tonight. Yeah, there was some intensity on both sides. We get ready to go. Yeah, I think the Jason one thing that, one thing we didn't see was a huge grain from Jason Tatum. I would love to see a game like this. Well, you can't yeah, call yourself the best player in the league if they don't show up. Oh, uh, well, you can have a night off. Well, he didn't have, you, you, you can have an off night, but you, if you're going to say you're going to be the, you say I'm the best player in the world, you got to prove it. And you saw guy, Jamal Murray connect, and then Jalen Brown had himself a night. Season high 42. Oh, give me that. That's a good thing about playing on the team. That's so-called one-two punch. One uh -oh. doesn't play well. Jalen Brown stepped up. What do you call this, Kenny? A spine tingler? Spine tingler. It's called a rim check, Ernie. Well, you guys both have uh, names. Your own terms. This is not anything but a dog. Well, I don't know what this boy was doing. What's the name? What he doing? Oh, like tingling, tumbling, jumbling, stumbling, <laughs> whatever you call it. He was done. Oh my goodness! Joker over shot. Porzingis to beat Black the halftime buzzer. Tell you what, Por Porzingis competed tonight, man. I loved his game. 62-54 Nuggets at the half. Yacht, Porzingis brother. had 24 and 12. Yeah, he balled out tonight. Mm. Nine for 23 is not balling. Chuck. Tatum 14 on five of 13. Oh, oh Joker. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Another triple double for the Joker tonight. Contavious Caldwell Pope out of the corner for three and a 10 point lead. Now it's 94 85. And look at Jamal Murray. 19 and 8 on the night. Jalen Brown, Celtics not going away. Eight point game and then. Well, that Peyton Watson. That was a really good dunk oh, right there. Oh, my goodness. Give me that. And Watson with the block and then Aaron Gordon. That was pretty good, Ernie. From Murray. Oh, went off the glass, but it right? gets better, y'all. <laughs> yes, it does. Get off me, little man. Jalen Brown again. Now, five point game. Joker. Oh, oh my look God. Look that, that follow by Gordon. That. Oh, that was impressive. Oh, that's a dumb contest win. Oh, there's another guy who knows how to do that. <laughs> mm. Step back, Drew. Well, Holiday hit a couple of clutch shots down the stretch to this keep Boston in it. They were down two. This is to play right here, guys. This is. This is ridiculous. And you, ho you heard him tell Chris Haynes after the game. I do that all the time. I just throw it up for even when I don't see him. <laughs> and Aaron Gordon was there wow. with the finish. 115 to 109. Nuggets now 7 and 1 since the All Star break. The Celtics have lost consecutive games. For Jason the, Brown and for the Brazilian first time. Play. Yeah. First time since November 6th and 8th when they lost at Minnesota and at Philadelphia. Celtics have lost a couple in a row. 115 to 109 is your final. Meantime, the Minnesota Timberwolves on top of the West. This was a game without, too, Ernie. Yeah, without Carl Anthony Towns against Tyrese Halliburton and that's the Pacers. That's, that's, that's this could be the NBA final in three years. Yeah, I tell you, well, <laughs> tell you what, they might not have caught on top, but they got that grown ass man right there. You see Edwards roll the ankle early. He would leave and then he would, uh, oh. he would return to the game. Boy, would he. <laughs> that's an understatement. Yeah. As he comes back, yeah, feeling okay. Out to a 20 to 8 lead on the road, and now Edwards again. He gonna need a, he gonna need some going airborne. He gonna need some, some, some off. And again, he leaves the floor, but he would yeah, return. Yes, you know he would. About them bulldogs, Ernie. Yep. Oh, can't keep them down, can you? Cannot keep them bulldogs down. 60 to 49, Timberwolves at the half. It was tied at 83 Ooh. after three. Tyrese Halliburton. I don't understand. Uh, I didn't understand what Indiana was oh, doing. Oh, come on. Come on, yeah, Seattle. Pascal. I did not understand what Indiana was doing in this game. You got to take the ball out of Anthony's hand. You got to do something. You got to make somebody. You can't let this guy score 
I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, oh, Come on, man. Oh. Get the ball out of his hand, man. The house on fire. Get the women and kids out. 44, six and three. Come his on, third 40 point game of the season. But it's not over. Miles Turner for three. And then Edwards misses a free throw. Two point game. But watch this. I missed a free throw, but I don't get, I still get back Edwards, on defense. Aaron Neesmith, who was rejected by Edwards. And look how high he got. Mm, that's crazy. Look at it. I thought he almost killed himself right there. He would again leave the floor, but only because the game was over. And <laughs> Minnesota wins it on the road at Indiana. 113 to 111. Big and not for so Minnesota with it. Yeah. 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 I, I, you just, that was a, we had some good games tonight, but I, I was disappointed in the Pacers. You got to take the ball out that boy's hands. I mean, he's a, I mean, come on, you can't let a one man do that to you. You got to take it out of his hands. A lot of tight games this year for the Pacers. Four and three now, and games decided by two points or less as Minnesota gets them again without Carl Anthony Towns. And you heard uh, the report from uh, out a month, Chris Haynes. A month. We had to be yeah. reevaluated in a month. We'll have surgery on the uh, men, on the, well, the see, uh, meniscus. So, so it's going to be interesting because th that man can't play like that every night. Uh, like he was amazing, and you know those little those little injuries he's got. You know if he go out there and have to play 45 minutes a night, somebody else going to have to step up. But man, uh, Indiana got to take the ball out of his hand. You cannot let one man just dominate you like that. Can we look at the Western Conference standings and uh, just check out the landscape here? As every one of these nights, you you know things change. People move up. People move down. Minnesota wins tonight to stay number one in the West. Uh, the Nuggets, with their win over the Celtics, are right there a game behind. Suns were winners. We're going to show you those highlights I, in, in it, a bit. Sacramento think, had their hands full tonight, but one. I think it's fair to say, uh, Kenny Shaq, those top four teams, because the Pelicans are four games behind in the loss column. Would, this, would I be safe to say one of those top four teams going to be those are not going to change. They might change orders. I, I would agree. I would say the top 10 are the same and the top four are the same. So the top 10 teams in the West are going to be the top 10 teams. Top four, the top four. We just don't know what order. And your best and your best team in the Western Conference is? The team we just saw with the best big man in the league, Denver. Joker. That's nothing it. to talk about. Yeah, you ask a question. I, I give I give quick definitive answers. The best team. Has Sometimes the best you do. That is, that is true. The Joker. Quick Denver and definitive. Nuggets. Quick I and definitive. Clippers. Do you concur? The best team in the West is the is Denver Nuggets. Yeah. I, I, I actually agree with that. Uh -huh. I, I agree with. The, I'm going to be short, definitive. Yeah. Sweet. Nuggets. Nuggets. Let me see the West one more time because <laughs> because if do, if things do stay this way, I want to look at the bottom half. Um, so in your play-in scenario right now, Mavericks would go to Sacramento, Lakers would go to Golden State. That's a hell of uh, a play-in tournament. That, that, I, I would take I would take the Mavs over the Kings because the the, King, the Kings can't stop a running nose. They are the, one of the worst defensive teams in the league, and you got Kyrie and Luka. So you'd have the Kings losing at home to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, they can't stop anybody, Ernie. Well, the Kings, oh, yeah. What, what, yeah. Seven play ten. No, it's seven and eight because seven the winner eight. of that oh, right. gets goals, the number goals, seven spot. Right, right. Eight plays, eight would play the uh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, winner right, of right, nine right, and right, ten. Gotcha. What, what's going to be interesting is the Minnesota situation. Can they hold on without Big Cat? Like, I don't know if they can stay number one without him because I don't know if they have enough offense. I mean, Anthony obviously is amazing and spectacular, but I don't see – I mean, he, he had to get 44 against the Pacers team. I just don't see – I don't know if they can stay in it. I mean, they'll stay in the top four. I truly believe that, but I but think that's going to be tough for a, for at least a month without yes. without Cause I, cause they play, Carl Anthony. I, I think they're going to lose tomorrow night at Cleveland. Um, Denver wins over Boston, by the way, 115-109. Let's hear from the Celtics head coach Joe Mazzula. What did you think of uh, the way you guys are able to fight back there down the stretch and get back in the game after things look like they're starting to go sideways early in the fourth? Yeah, I mean, it's especially against a team like that to be able to uh, battle back and make plays. Uh, you know, I think it's important. And uh, the team showed a bit of resilience. And, uh, you know, I think when you play against uh, another great team, uh, those 10 to 12 possessions are super, super critical. And uh, I thought Denver did a great job of taking advantage of those uh, better than we did tonight. You know? You hope just able to get in deep into the post over and over again. You guys have decided where and how to send help. How difficult is that decision, especially when Gordon's able to get everything he wants? 
Yeah, I mean, it's a difficult decision only because of all the other stuff. And so when you're making that decision, it, you look at uh, you look at the turnovers. You look, last time we played them, we only had two turnovers. We had 12 tonight. You look at the points off turnovers. You look at the missed free throws. Uh, you look at you know that that right there. So uh, it becomes difficult because you put pressure on some of the other things. And then when you're in that critical moment, you just have to make the best decision possible. So, um, but that's that's the lesson tonight is uh, you know just those those things, uh, taking care of the basketball, uh, our offensive execution, which leads to their transition defense, and uh, you know got to the free throw line, just didn't make them. Celtics still seven and a half up on uh, Milwaukee you, 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 in the in the Eastern you Conference. You know what's interesting about watching the Celtic team play? This was actually I, I was curious when they make threes, they're unbeatable. This is going to be their tail in the playoffs. Execution, turnovers, shot selection. When they get in close games, because when they make threes, they just blow everybody out. They're like hit or miss. But they've got to find a way to win these games when they don't shoot a good three-point percentage. And they have not done that. Well, I, I, 11, I, for, 11 for 38 tonight. I, I, only reason I disagree, because there's no one like Denver in the Eastern Conference. There's no... Well, and I'm not talking about Jokic. I'm talking about Aaron Gordon and Porter. 6'10", playing the wings. So when you try to play small, they're actually more athletic than your smalls. And so they're more athletic. They're faster. They're more athletic. They block shots, rebound, and can shoot the three. There's no other team in the NBA that has guys who are 6'10", that can do that, that play the three and the four. So Yeah, I, but I understand that point. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about getting out the East. Who, who because, else can do that? Well, what they're doing. Well, yeah, but they, I'm talking about styles. Mm -hmm. well, they are hit or miss on the threes. If you see when they make threes, they're unbeatable. But their shot selection, turnovers, and execution are a weakness. They win games by a lot of talent and three-point shooting. If you're, if you're having a bad night shooting threes, that's when they – They'll still get out the East. Yeah. Yep. Uh, 115, 109. Your final score. Would anybody else think that there was uh, not enough headroom on the uh, on the Joe Missoula uh, press conference? What's wrong with that? I, no, you know, I just thought he I was don't small. Think, I don't think he's just like enough, a small chair, man. Not sure. enough headroom. I there. thought he was a small guy. Come I didn't realize. Man, that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the way they were doing it? <laughs> Shaq <laughs> right, ain't been that small since he was a baby. <laughs> no, he has been that small since he done played against those guys in high school. Oh, no. oh, yeah, we'll, get, we'll get into that a bit later here in the show, as a matter of fact. More highlights on the way here on Inside, y'all.